We're going to play with a couple more um, ways to look at your grid. You don't have to do it, you know, all in squares. You can certainly use circles. This is where a compass comes in handy. And um, what I've done in this one, I've divided, I've divided this the square vertically into even parts. And then I use where the, where the two meet at the edge as my center point. And you just make your circle like that. So it's half a circle. So I'm going to make a grid of half circles. I'm going to go ahead and marker these so that you can see them better. And then within this are just all kinds of, you know, ways you can use this grid. You can, you know, just emphasize the horizontal part of the curves. Or you can go ahead and divide it up into smaller spaces. And play around with putting a motif in here, or just maybe this itself is the motif in here. And then you, you'd offset them and have almost a grid, a sort of a checkerboard pattern, but in curved arc pieces. There's lots of ways of doing it, or as I say, you go with the curves. You can go farther with the circle too. 